Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Gary Holt from Exodus and formerly from Slayer, and you're listening to The Razor's Edge. I'm here at Desert Fest, uh, just outside the Dev, on Sunday evening with Earl of Hell. Thanks for coming hey, hey. How and you joining doing? me. Hey, okay. How are you doing? Man. We're very good. We're very good, but um, very hot. <laughs> hot and sweaty, but yeah, it was excellent. Good how, turnout. How was the set from your point of view? Um, yeah, really good. Um, obviously, a bunch of new songs in there, um, mm. so we've been trying them out over the, like, the tour, and uh, yeah, and the reception's been great as well, so yeah, we, can't argue, we can't argue. Yeah. It's been awesome. Have you guys been to London as a band before, or is it your first time? Um, so we've only actually been once before, and that was at the Dev last year, mm-hmm. uh, when we released our EP. Uh, Dan wasn't with us then, um, he joined the band in August? July? Yeah, summer. July, August? Summertime. Um, so yeah, Dan's first time here, um, but yeah, it's been great. There's uh, other venues, especially in Camden, we'd love to come back down and play and stuff. Um, but the Dev's excellent, great vibe, everyone's cool, um, all the staff are brilliant, beer's good, so wow. yeah. Agree exactly. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, as I say, um, you've hinted that you've been playing some new songs. It's mm. been about a year since Get Smokes came out. So, what, what's the plan? Is it a full-length album or some singles, maybe? Or so that we are writing towards an album. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got Shield of the Time booked for later in the year. We're still working on stuff, but um, hopefully, early next year, first half of next year, we'll have have an album out. Um, but yeah, early, early days in some respect. You know how it goes. <laughs> we've, got about, we've got about six or seven songs there. We want to just try and write as many as we can and yeah. choose the best. Want some choice. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so but those yeah. ones went down pretty well, I think. Yeah, all the new ones have been going very well. So uh, that's a good thing. <laughs> from, from your points of view, like, is the new stuff just a continuation of the old stuff, or are you uh, trying to do something? No, it's probably very different. Um, but because Dan's joined, there's different dynamics to guitarists now, yeah. um, and I think because of that, guitar got a bit more room to play about and yeah. like harmonies and things like that. We're so for this bigger sound, there's more space. We're giving each other more space, and yeah, there's harmonies and octaves and yeah. <laughs> all sorts I of yeah. things. I think with this there. record, you're definitely going to see like an evolution of the band. Aye. There's it's I hope similar so. enough, <laughs> but also far enough away from getting smoked that. It's yeah, of course. It's gonna yeah, yeah. And of course, there's songs awesome. on Get Smoked that we'll always play. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the last song tonight, like Hang 'em High. Uh, you <laughs> see the response that that got, and that's that's one that will just that'll always be played. I don't think we'll ever go. Ah, we'll not put that one in there tonight. I think <laughs> I don't <laughs> think we'll be allowed to do that. So one of the crowd sing along to that song. Exactly, oh, yeah. exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, it's really just we've got more room now to like just experiment a bit more. Uh, even the older songs from Get Smoked now with Dan joining, um, there's, it's gave it a sort of new lease of life. It's, it sounds a bit different, but it's, it's cool. So it's like, yeah, um, it's good just hammering that stuff out, but a different dynamic. And then who are your own like guitar influences that you bring into Earl of oh. <laughs> Where do I start? Um, <laughs> uh, I, I love all the old like southern rock stuff, but mm-hmm. I'm also a big like Corrosion fan, which yeah, I've yeah. for, and uh, I love Clutch, I love Alice in Chains, one of my mm-hmm. favourite bands of all time, so like, yeah, I think that's, I, I've got similar influences to these guys, like uh, Caius and stuff, so yeah. like Queens of Stone Age, so. We've all got very different music like tastes, but it, we have collective ones that we all love, and I think that really helps, I mean, yeah. oh, he's not got on the day, but last night he was wearing a Jaminiquai t-shirt, so, <laughs> yeah. bass player. Bass player, yeah. so yes, of course. <laughs> I, uh, I was going to ask, like, you know, what what else do you listen to that isn't rock or metal or guitar based? Um, uh, well, that's the thing. Like, uh, five of us, we've got a pretty extensive music taste. Yeah, I reckon yeah. some weird shit. I was brought I up on country. Yeah, see, <laughs> yeah. I was brought up on a uh, 70s punk mm-hmm. and uh, like Bowie, T Rex, Slade, all the, all the glam rock stuff mm-hmm. in the 70s. So that was where I started, and then obviously just start getting bored of that you move on yeah. you discover black sabbath and then you discover everything else around that and then yeah it just opens it right up oh, the, the spotify session in the van is uh it can go from sex pistols to frank zappa to people <laughs> <else at home>. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um there's it's a good i think that's a good thing i, I think having as much different influences as possible has the best result no of course well, variety um, is the spice of life as they say exactly yeah. exactly Fantastic. so well 
we're in Camden, there's like a massive selection of food. Like, what, what have you been having yeah. today? Uh, we had the most amazing uh, lunch. Oh, you've been uh, Italian. Some yeah. random Italian, wouldn't it? Yeah, I don't even know and what the name was. Oh. No, I, I, I wasn't feeling it at the time. The I, went, I went to Subway. <laughs> <laughs> for the purposes of audio, Eric was looking at the menu of this Raj Italian and went, I'm going to get a Subway. <laughs> <laughs> Man of culture. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to walk about Camden and chill for a bit, so I've got a Subway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Have you caught any of the bands today? Not yet, but we're going to go and see Boris just yeah, now. We caught Walls. Um, we did catch oh, we caught the, we caught the, uh, yeah, the yeah. half of Walls last set, which was mm. uh, massive sound. Uh, uh, it was huge, yeah, absolutely just the amazing. Two of them as well. Yeah, yeah I really wanted to catch Dude, but it wasn't. We just couldn't get here in time for it. Um, but yeah, cool band. I think they'll do really well. We're going to see Boris. We're going to see hopefully the Desert Jam with Fatso Jets oh, and yeah. High Desert Queen Sean Wheeler, and then I think some of us are going to go to Uncle Acid. And then meet up for the big uh, after party. Of course. Yeah, yeah, and then the, the heading home tomorrow. <laughs> it's Always a shame. The best bit. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a bit of shame. Like we, we, it's, we you can't I know. We, it's, you can't moan about the travel. You're no, getting, I'm getting. I'm getting a flight back. I've got. I've got daddy duties to deal with. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah. Um, we would have been more eco-friendly than that. Yeah, it, it, it would have been nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be nice. It would have been nice to uh, be here all weekend, and we did we did toy with the idea of just coming down, staying all weekend, and then just playing on the Sunday. But we're like, we should probably play some gigs around it. So we've, we've yeah, done three yeah. three gigs on the way down. Um, so yeah, got to keep the keep the van running. <laughs> so <laughs> somehow, but yeah, but that's been awesome, and we couldn't have asked for better tonight. So. It's a great place to play. It's I love awesome. I love the name Earl of Hell, and I was I was wondering kind of on my way to the Dev Light, is there a is there an actual Earl of Hell that you think of in your mind? Is it a fictional character? Is it based off a real? Well, person? it's based on us on an old Scottish saying, oh, okay, which is as black as the Earl of Hell's waistcoat, <laughs> and that's pretty much it. But I've we had done a bit that. more digging, and you discovered that the Earl of Hell is uh, like one of the it's the Dante Dante so Something, yeah. I mean, uh, obviously, I don't know that much about uh, satanic um, overlords and <laughs> yeah, that sort yeah. of thing, but from what I, I gather, it's a kind of, uh, yeah, one of Satan's uh, workers, basically. Yeah. And there's a kind of, we've got a, one of the new songs, when we opened with tonight, is kind of about the Earl of Hell. Yeah. Um, and the relationship with Satan. Well, yeah, well, it's <laughs> kind of, it's stuff. like Earl of Hell, it's, it's almost... It's almost a joke in itself because we're we're not like a satanic band in the slightest. Yeah. So it's almost yeah, it's kind of um, it's tongue in cheek. Yeah. It's tongue in cheek. That's it. Um, it's like the whole Eagles of Death Metal thing. Um, it's that <laughs> it's that kind of, in that kind of vein. Yeah. Um, but it can be a bit of a nightmare sometimes being like, yeah, what's your name? What's band name? Earl of Hell. Uh, Earl of Hell. Especially with the, the Scottish accent. Yeah, an American <laughs> an Americans seem to think it means the name Errol, like a guy yeah. called Errol. Oh, like Errol? my name is Errol. <laughs> <laughs> when you think about that, that's actually quite funny as well. So you see for someone that can't roll their R's properly. Yeah. It's an, it's, it's a pain. Like what, the, what like the Scottish er, er, Errol Errol of Hell. Errol of Hell. Errol, Errol of Hell. But the point is it's working. Yeah, it, it, it seems is. to work. It, it seems to work, so <laughs> And, uh, and lastly, what's on the horizon? What's next? So, Earl of Hell. Um, of Hell. We've, we've got a couple of. Uh, well, we've got a tour with Volcanova yeah. uh, oh, in yeah. July. Back down here in July. Yeah, yeah we've exactly. Couple, we've got a couple more gigs before that. We've one with uh, Fury and Dumfries. Um, and that 13, 13 County Festival. Oh, yeah, we've got a festival. A bike, biker rally. Here, Buckinghamshire. Yeah. Um, with uh, Cyclona we're playing with, there's also like Margaret Green Lung Cult, Green Lung, yeah. Um, and then we're lightening up after July just to get in uh, songwriting and finishing up yeah, exactly. the album. Um, yeah, exactly. But yeah, the Volcanova tour will be cool and I think one of the gigs in Glasgow, uh, Mondo Generator are headlining that one. Oh, so I, I think uh, it's getting turned into a... And I can add to this as well, um, made possible by Duncan Mountain at Red Cross Promotions that we were here today, so mm -hmm. hats off to Duncan. Um, but yeah, that'll be cool as well. Looking forward to it. Fantastic. Um, Looks like the future's bright for you guys. Yeah, it's it, just yeah. now anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, thanks for your time. You're that welcome, man. This has been uh, Earl of Hell at Desert Fest for the Razor's Edge. Thanks for listening. Make sure you keep up to date with future episodes by subscribing to our channels. For more information on this podcast, 
or for all the latest music news, reviews, interviews and more, head over to our website www.theraisersedge.rocks.